right guys, so I just reheated up some coffee from this morning. Very excited to drink it. It's decaf, uh, but I made it this morning and then I had to run a bunch of errands. I have a phone now, so excited. And um, <laughs> another purchase that I made was rollerblades. <laughs> So I have never learned how to rollerblade. My sister tried to teach me at one point and my parents, my parents are very protective of me. I'm the baby of the family. And when I really wanted to show them all of the rollerblading skills that I, that I got at Chrissy's place, um, they were very concerned that I was going to fall. So it was a lot of them yelling, don't fall and use your brakes. And so I got frustrated enough as a child that I just like took them off and threw them and went off and had a tantrum and whatever. Uh, but I never, I never wore rollerblades again. But this, um, this walk that I've been doing every day to work, it's a 30 minute walk, it's a really good walk, but if I have a way to get there faster, that would be awesome. So I was like, rollerblades would be good. So now I'm in training. So do you see this floor? And do you see my rollerblades? This is what I've been doing. and then turning around, and then... Oh! And I just know, I know that this isn't going to help the Ramona Flowers comparisons, but that's okay. I think that it's gonna be pretty awesome. If I can learn how to rollerblade, it's gonna be great. I got like the little, um, there's a little set of the, the hand pads and the elbow pads and the knee pads. I didn't get a helmet. But I feel like the likelihood that I'll fall on my hands is a lot greater than the likelihood that I'll fall on my head or hit my head on something, so hopefully I don't need it. But it's just ridiculous, right, that I've never learned how to rollerblade? I, just, I, feel, like, I feel like it's time. It's a rite of passage. Never skateboarded. My brother skateboarded. Never skateboarded. Never, never did rollerblades. Never did roller skates. I don't know, man. It's time. It's time that we release these shackles from ourselves, learn how to do things. I don't know. Any of my roommates, if you're watching right now, this is what happens when you leave me home alone. I just decide to learn how to rollerblade for no reason. <laughs> there is a reason, but I mean, really, I could, I could bike that, but but rollerblading would be so much cooler, and this way I'm learning something. I love learning things. <sighs> Don't die, self. Don't die. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I haven't tried to use the brakes yet. I just run into things and then stop myself, which I think is the first step. There was um, a Disney's Cars uh, brand of, of rollerblades that were like, learn to rollerblade and had like training wheels for your rollerblades. And I was like, should I get that? And then I was like, nah. <laughs> um, I actually fit into the women's size of rollerblades. I know, you're shocked. You're shocked, I'm shocked too. I thought for sure that I would have to wear the kids' rollerblades. Turns out that I didn't though, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> the kids' rollerblades, I fit into them, but um, they were a little too, they squished my toes just a little too much. These ones I fit into perfect. Yes! Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ah, I'm on fire! I'm so fast! <laughs> so, it's gonna be really funny though, um, the first time that I attempt to actually rollerblade to work. Because there's so many people that walk their dogs and things. You know when you can like see something in the peripheral of your vision that's like right on your nose? Um, there are all sorts of people that like walk their dogs and like little old men that are like going on walks and I'm gonna be like Meh! falling all over the place. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So. Hmm. But yes, I have a phone. I have a phone. Thank goodness. So those of you who don't know what happened, um, because there were lots of comments that were like, how do you not have a phone? What happened to your phone? So I left my phone um, while I was on my trip on accident. So it turned out that my mom had to send my phone to me and it was supposed to arrive on our doorstep um, the same day that a couple other packages showed up and according to the post office they did drop it off but it's the only package that has never shown up. So I've been phoneless for about a week... about a week. Yeah, like a week exactly. Um, so I finally went in and was like, alright, if I'm gonna spend money on a phone, I'm just gonna go all out and get a smartphone. So I did, and it's it's pretty 
awesome. And fortunately, I was able to use um, my mom's, like, the primary person on our account. I'm still on the family plan. I keep thinking that eventually I should switch over and have my own account. Um, but it worked out really well for me right now because they were like, oh, yeah, well, if you use this thing that's on your mom's, um, you can get the phones for, like, super cheap, like the, the price that they would be on the two-year plan. And I was like, that sounds great. I like how apparently every Verizon worker is some sort of surfer dude. Uh, it was actually an old Jewish woman who was very sweet to me. Um, but she was like, yeah, so... I mean, you can use that on your phone. I don't know how much good that's going to do you, though. And I went over to the... I, those, of, those of you who uh, are not Steve Jobs fans, you're going to hate me. But I was doing a lot of research on what phones are really good, and the iPhone 4 gets a really good rating. I know, I know, I know. It gets a really good rating, though, um, compared to, like, the droid and all that. I was like, all right, okay. Okay, I'll look and see how much I can get it for, just to see. I was able to get a over $600 phone for less than 200 bucks. So I was like, yeah, okay. So I got the iPhone, and I love it so far. Uh, the one thing that I was warned about that I hate about it um, is that when you're on the phone, there's a mute button that's on the touch screen. If your cheek touches it, suddenly the other person's going, hello? Uh, hello? And you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> press the mute button. Sorry. <laughs> that happened with my mom. I called my mom immediately and she was like, oh my gosh, it's so fun to hear your voice. Because I typically call her like every other day and I haven't been able to talk to her in about a week, so. We got to catch up and all that. <sighs> I think I'm getting a little better. Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> Do you like that you guys are on this journey with me? Here, I'll give you a different view. Ready? Oh, baby steps, roll, and stop. I'm turning around, and oh, oh god, oh, almost ran into the trash can. Neat, uh, neat, yep. Oh, good times. <laughs> so, I'll let you guys know whether or not um, I wind up being successful at this rollerblading thing. Um, but hopefully, while I have the house to myself, I'll have lots of fun shenanigans that I get to do. <laughs> and then they're gonna come back and be like, what happened to the house? I'll be like, I don't know. I actually will know, though. Alright, this is gonna be my last one. I'll stop giving you guys, like, nausea or whatever. Alright, coffee. Come to me. My mouth places. Ow. Hmm. So, yes. Um... Yeah, hopefully uh, you guys are having a good day. Uh, I had a good day. I'm so glad that I actually got that stuff done because I was so concerned that I was going to pull a me and just be like, ah, but I really, I, I needed a phone. I needed a phone. Oh gosh, and when I, when we turned it on at the store, it was getting text message after text message after text message because I don't call people. I text people typically, so I had like so many. And I can't transfer over my contact list, so I have no idea who, like, any of them are from. <laughs> except for the really specific ones where I'm like, oh, that's Sarah, or etc. So, anywho, um, I'm gonna keep practicing my rollerblading. And, uh, yeah. I hope that you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye bye